In this guide, we'll explain everything hiring managers and expatriates need to know about Malaysia's tax principles and how to determine whether or not they should be paying tax when working there. Malaysia is one of Asia's biggest business hubs. Its economy is the 35th largest in the world and is the third largest in Southeast Asia. So it's no surprise that so many businesses are expanding their operations there. But in order to mobilise staff to the country, there are important Malaysian tax laws to get to grips with. Malaysia's Taxation Principle Taxation in Malaysia works on a territorial basis. This means that only incomes with a source in Malaysia are taxable, no matter where the expatriate gets paid. Profits sourced elsewhere are not subject to personal income tax rates in Malaysia, but there are three main exceptions. Double taxation agreements, if an expat is a tax resident of two different countries, they may have to pay taxes in both countries on the same income. However, Malaysia has signed double taxation agreements with more than 70 countries to avoid this. Worldwide basis for taxation. This applies to income from specific industries, such as banking and air transport, where Malaysia does not use a territorial tax system. Tax regime exemptions. Expatriates may benefit from tax exemptions if they are not defined as a tax resident in Malaysia or if the period of employment is shorter than 60 days. Determining tax residency status. If an expatriate lives in Malaysia for 182 days or more in an assessment year, they will be considered a resident for tax purposes. They will pay progressive rates of between 0 to 30% income dependent and are eligible for tax deductions. Expatriates working in Malaysia for less than 182 days a year are classed as non-residents for tax purposes and are subject to a 30% flat rate and do not qualify for tax deductions. Monthly tax deduction. The monthly tax deduction, PCB, is compulsory and there are strict laws in place to make sure that all employers and employees comply. The amount of tax deducted depends on the employee's tax resident status and income. Tax returns in Malaysia. The tax year in Malaysia runs from January 1st to December 31st, and all tax residents subject to taxation need to file a tax return before April 30th the following year. Failure to do so can result in a 10% increment of the payable tax or a disciplinary fee. Expats need to fill out a yearly remuneration statement, an EA form, which is issued by the end of February every year in this form, they will need to detail the full amount they have been paid during the calendar year. Tax returns can be filed either online or manually, and if any of the information submitted is incorrect, the expatriate may be fined at 100% of the undercharged tax. Tax file number. Generally, employees obtain income tax numbers from the IRB on behalf of their expat employees. However, it is also possible for individuals to get their tax file numbers from the Inland Revenue Board of Malaysia within two months of their arrival date. Tax clearance. If an expat comes to the end of their contract, resigns or leaves Malaysia for longer than three months, they will need to apply for tax clearance. This determines whether or not that they owe tax. For more information on this topic or to find out how AirSwift's global employment and mobility team can help, please visit our site on the subject. Links to this and more in the description.